even though we don't have a freeze warning or a frost advisory for the viewing area, I do think about the eastern three quarters of the viewing area. We'll see at least some patchy frost tonight, but the warmer air is just off to the west and that'll really start to get in here tomorrow. It's going to warm up pretty nicely and we may pick up a couple of showers toward the late tomorrow. Now the main core of this system will kind of pivot in as we get into Saturday, there'll be two waves of scattered showers and storms Saturday. The main wave looks to be during the morning hours, and then this system out on the coast of California. This one means business. This will start to get in here uh, towards Sunday and Monday, and this is the one that'll bring a nasty tornado outbreak to the plains. But right now, not too worried about a severe weather threat here. It's just kind of garden variety showers and storms, but as always, We'll keep an eye on it. Now, the outlook tonight, patchy frost, mainly in the eastern chunk of the viewing area, warmer in the west, a couple showers late tomorrow. As the clouds will increase through the day, it'll be warmer and breezy. Two waves of scattered showers and storms Saturday. It looks like the most widespread round of rain would be in the morning. And then, you know, after maybe another round of rain on Sunday late in the day and maybe a round or two on Monday, it's going to add up to about an inch to an inch and a half of rain between Friday and Monday. Perhaps some frost and freezing weather on one night on April the 22nd or around April the 22nd and then the 80s are back uh, around the 28th. Tonight, cold in the east, right around freezing. Rochester, Logansport, Burlington down to Atlanta, 34 Monticello, 35 Lafayette, 35 Remington. Those areas will have a few patches of frost, but not the case down towards Pence and also Petersburg, where it's going to be pretty close to 40 degrees, even Pine Village at 38, Ketland at 40. Increasing clouds, a low to mid, even upper 60s tomorrow, 64 Logansport towards Onward and Galveston and Burlington, 66 West Point as well as Battleground and about 67 West Lebanon, Pine Village up to Kentland and 68 for the warm spots there at Petersburg and Perrysville. Clear skies tonight, a cold one. Tomorrow clouds increasing late in the day, a few very widely scattered showers around. First wave of scattered showers and storms arrives Saturday morning. Uh, that'll start to gradually get out of here with time as Saturday wears on. But for the 5K challenge, that wave of rain between about the 7 and 11 time frame, some thunder and lightning around too. Quite a bit of wind, winds gusting 15 to 30 miles an hour. Kind of cool early with 50s, but then warming up into the 60s by noon. And with some sunshine developing Saturday afternoon, we're headed for the 70s. Second round of at least some scattered storms late in the day. Uh, and then, then uh, Sunday, not too bad. Maybe a little round of some rain late in the day with 76. A little cooler next week. All right, Chad, thank okay. you. Yeah, I'm getting tired of mowing the dust. It'll be nice <laughs> to have some grass to work It'll with. It'll be settled down and a good soaking rain. It's not going to all fall at once. Okay, thank you very much. Chad, Ross yep. Boland's at the sports desk tonight. Ross, what's going on?